Over the past year, I have had so much fun talking to you about the things that I have cut back on or bought less of since becoming more of a minimalist and living more clutter free. But today I wanna to actually talk to you about things that I bought more of since becoming more minimalist. Thank you for joining me today and without further ado, let's hop right in. I have definitely bought more organization solutions since becoming more minimalist. Surprisingly, when I was living a cluttered life, I guess you would say I was not a minimalist at all. I had a ton of excess. I didn't really organize my stuff. I didn't really feel like there was much of a point. Things were just kind of stuffed into corners. I used Ziploc baggies a lot. Things didn't match. Um, I just didn't really have systems in place in my home at all and i felt like it would be really expensive to buy a lot of organization solutions for all the stuff that i had so i just did not buy it but since reducing the amount of stuff in our house by about 80 to 85 percent i have loved investing in little organization pieces it's just so refreshing now to have a place a more specific and designated place for my items whether it be in the kitchen or the bathroom, just have things laid out and organized. Not that my whole house is organized, top to bottom, but the main areas are definitely organized. And I love it, I love having these solutions and I like to buy them mostly at Target and Home Goods. I definitely buy more high quality foods. So before I was a minimalist, I didn't really have good systems in place for much of anything, and that includes meal planning. I would just buy a whole bunch of random stuff for my kitchen and call it good. I didn't meal plan very well. I did not organize my groceries, and I bought a lot of food that was not necessarily higher quality just because I would max out my budget on like snacky foods. Now <laughs> that I have a lot more organized meal plan, I buy more high quality food and it's just been really nice. We've wasted less, we've eaten at home more. It's just, there have been so many benefits to this, but I've definitely enjoyed buying higher quality foods over just a bunch of just kind of lower quality, higher processed foods. I used to shop the dollar section like no one's business. I used to buy new home decor items for every single holiday and season, and I do not do that anymore. Instead, I buy higher quality pieces of home decor that are gonna last me year round. So I have really, really been grateful I've done this. My curtains in the dining room are one thing that I definitely invested in. And then I have some pieces over the piano in the living room that were a little bit of an investment, but I could totally justify it because they are going to be up all year round. And I save hundreds of dollars every single year by not buying cheaper seasonal items. I used to buy gifts for people that were non-consumable. I would buy them jewelry. I would buy them even home decor pieces. I used to try and shop for my friends and family buy picking out these non-consumable items. I have just learned that consumable items are the way to go when you are gifting. So I buy way more consumable items, candles, food, um, subscriptions, gift cards for you know the movies, things that are consumable. And I just feel like it's a safer route. And if somebody is trying to live a little bit more clutter free or they don't wanna add to the volume in their home, they can quickly use the delicious soap or you know the lotion bottle or the candle. So I just feel like it's safer to give someone something that is consumable and an experience is always a good idea. So I buy way more of those types of gifts. Okay, going along with that, experiences for my family, I'm able to buy more of them. I like to get memberships to places that we can all go and enjoy, things like the zoo or a um, museum where you can just keep going over and over again, different activities in the area that cost money. Now I have the money to actually invest in this and it is 
amazing to have such a fun experience with my family. So I have loved cutting down on the actual volume of items and increasing the amount of time that we spend together doing these memorable things. So we definitely, definitely do more family experiences. And it's actually one of my favorite things about living more minimally. I mentioned earlier that we're home a lot more now that I've become more minimalist. We're not out shopping, looking for the next thing to bring into our home to consume. So I've had a lot of fun investing in more books for my kids and myself, more high quality toys, things that they can use over and over again, open-ended toys, things like that. So that has been something I've really loved doing. And it's been fun. It's been so fun for them. And it's been fun for me to experience that with them as well. I did not used to thrift that often before becoming minimalist. I think mainly because I got frustrated by the amount of time it would take me in the store to find what I was actually looking for. And I just kind of felt rushed in my life, very, very hurried. And I don't feel that anymore. So instead of using all this time to make multiple trips, to just go to Target, to just browse, peruse, pick out stuff from the dollar section, whatever, I have now more time to invest on thrifted things. I now love spending time in a thrift store hunting for a treasure. I'm able to find amazing things there. Clothing for my kids and books. Books are amazing from the thrift store. So I love spending more time thrifting now because I have the time. I just am more peaceful in my life and I don't feel like stressed at the store trying to find something. Um, now I know what I'm looking for and I can go and spend the time to find it. So I love that it's environmentally friendly. I love that it's a more conscious way of shopping and it's just a fun experience. We call it thrift store treasure hunt and it is so, so much fun. What is something you buy more of since becoming more minimalist or more clutter free or if you are looking to become more minimalist, what's something that you're excited about this kind of change? What do you hope to buy more of? More experiences, more homemade food ingredients, what is it that you're looking forward to or that you're already currently enjoying? If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did and joined me on my own personal journey. Thank you for being here today and I'll see you soon. Bye.